going to be a baby. That baby will not be able to play well with other kids normally. That baby will not be able to go outside and ever play by itself without being supervised. There is a special evil amongst the sisters of the community. I'm about to play a clip, and I want y'all to tell me at least three things that y'all find wrong with it and why you think it's allowed to exist in America. The woman who she's dancing with right now is another masculine female rapper named Glorilla who probably has a lot of influence over black girls today. Ladies! Let me see who really been flowed out in real life. Let me see who really been flowed out in real life though. Ladies! One more time! What you say? Why is a pregnant woman in the club? Why is she drinking alcohol? And why is the women around her not stopping it? As long as it doesn't affect them, black women will witness bad behavior, fail to shame it, and sometimes even reward it. Chris Shine Rock is the epitome and the result of generations of uncorrected and out of control black women that seek out the type of black man that will allow them to further that legacy. To get you up to speed, she just recently gave birth to a boy that she named Krishan Jr. Now let that sink in for a minute. Western modern women are so pitifully masculine that they will name a son after themselves and think that that makes him a junior. That's not only defiant of the father, a rapper named Blueface, whose real name is Jonathan Jamal Porter, but it's emasculating of the son and it speaks volumes for the special evil that these destructive, disrespectful Gen Z Jezebels have for men in general. Only a level 99 Jezebel will willingly consume alcohol while pregnant. And if you want to know the conditions that the average black child grows up in, then pay attention to the fact that no woman in that club tapped into their maternal instinct. Now, if y'all remember, Krishan was in the club about every other night, drinking while she was still very pregnant. A lot of her fans used to defend her by claiming she was drinking water, even though it was clear as day she was drinking alcohol. She was barely resting at all and was even seen turning up in the club. People even dug up an old video from Charleston White from around the time that Krishan was getting bashed for drinking while pregnant. In that video, he predicted that her baby was gonna come out with some sort of condition because of her irresponsible behavior. Put up $5,000 that Blueface and Christian Rock have a baby. Let's start making big now. Come on now, literally. I got $5,000 that Christian Rock and Blueface have a baby. Baby gonna be dumb in the mother. They, gonna, they, they not gonna have a healthy baby. Like I got bets on it right now. I got 2000 I got a side bet that the baby don't make it. I got two. I got a two thousand dollar side bet that they baby don't make it. <laughs> I got, I was, who want to bet? Who who want to take these goddamn bet? Say no. I got five thousand. I say somebody tag Blueface. Somebody tag Blueface and Christian Rock. I got five thousand dollars that they have a baby. If it ain't gonna be, it's gonna be autistic. Or if it ain't be autistic, it's gonna be a mute baby. One of them kind of babies. I got a two thousand side bet that it, that the baby don't make it. I got two thousand dollars that Christian Rock baby don't make the nine months. That baby don't stand a chance in life. <laughs> That's gonna be a baby. 
baby. That baby will not be able to play well with other kids normally. That baby will not be able to go outside and ever play by itself without being supervised. This. Father. Did you see this? Look at Please. this. Father, think of the child. The Hood is a collection of government sponsored single mothers perfectly safe in their environment. In Chicago, there was a rapper named FBG Duck who, him and all of his brothers, died to gun violence. The question that no one asks is how can a mother? who lost all of her children to the same neighborhood still reside in that same neighborhood? The answer is because she's not a target. Despite having all of those government utilities that she can utilize to move, she would rather stay. See, the modern black hood ratted woman that gets pushed in the media is rewarded for fostering and continuing a perpetual cycle of degeneracy. Apparently, the reason why Krishan has been hiding her baby from the public all these months is because he has fetal alcohol syndrome. This condition would have been very avoidable had Krishan been responsible and not spent all her time drinking and doing nose candy while she was pregnant. And the crazy thing is, Blue actually tried to warn us about Krishan possibly endangering Krishan Jr.'s health and her unhealthy habits, but most people thought he was just being a bitter baby daddy. <laughs> I wouldn't give a damn what nobody say. Between him and her, yeah, that baby go, that baby ain't for to make it. Krishan Rock's baby has fetal alcohol syndrome, which is a clear case of negligence, but where is CPS? See, what people don't understand about the community is CPS is not quick to remove black youth from the home. Had that been a white baby, we wouldn't be having this conversation. People even looked up some of the physical signs of the condition, all of which the baby seemed to have. The physical signs include a small head, small eye opening, low nasal bridge, a flat mid face, thin upper lip, etc. Oh, you got like one more piece of space left. You got like one more month left. You're going to be wearing it. Bro, you can finish using Sexy Red is another clown industry plant that's gonna use her pregnancy to further the destruction of the image of the black family in America. This is the behavior that explains bad baby. That's me. The degenerate woman that will be a future single mother due to seeking the weakest, poorest excuse for a man to procreate with. And don't just think that only hood rats is doing this, oh no. See, I didn't prove that even with Naomi Osaka, that this is a special evil among sisters of the community. I'd rather be a mom before I be a wife. Really? Ooh, that is very interesting. Wow. I'd just rather cater to a child than, than my husband. Than a husband. And when you're a wife, you don't need to get married. No, no but when you, you just think when you're a wife, you're a hey, wife, yeah. you're a mom, and you, you still have to find time to be yourself. I think a lot of women have but that for me, point because of view, I, but, they don't but really for say me, it. I have a very big support system, like family wise. And I've just like been through situations and know women that have done certain things purposely where they're a mom, like basically like they went to a sperm bank. You know, they did everything oh, wow. and they're just purposely Damn, moms. So like that's where I'm at right now. So what's the solution? Before we answer that, let's get behind the mindset of the Western modern black woman. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe if you want my content to survive. Somewhere in the 1960s, black homes were incentivized to remain fatherless so that households could collect government assistance. Finding gainful employment that could provide for the average nuclear family on one income was difficult and sometimes unfeasible. Just think about how uncommon that is today. Regardless, black women's access to stability came at the cost of the man of the house. Generations of black children grew up seeing the mother as the dominant force. The 70s was the generation of the individualistic mindset run rampant. It was also the generation of birth control, hedonistic experimentation, and the breakdown of traditional Christian values. During the 80s was the crack epidemic which created the hoods you see today. During this time, some black men were able to regain back power and respect due to utilizing organized crime. 
Now you're about to learn why so many black women have an affinity for thugs and drug dealers. The honest black man got punked by institutionalized racism in a predominantly white workforce. While the alpha dominant black man is in the streets and able to be his own boss and gain access to a wealthy and lavish lifestyle. That's money, power, respect. Statistically, black women procreate with the same type of man, which is why most black women have children and most black men don't have children. Now you know the phenomenon behind Future, NBA Youngboy, DMX, etc. In science, some personality traits are passed down genetically, so children may reflect their parents' behavior. As a side note, if you want a polygynous relationship, black women are most likely to oblige. This could be traced back to roots in Africa where polygyny was practiced amongst some tribes. So, so what, what explains, explains their defiance? defiance? Well, black men are the most vulnerable men in the world and that fosters a lack of respect. We have no political prowess and that's evident due to the civil rights that we died for benefiting us the least. We can't organize as men because mentally we're more divided than numbers in a fifth grade math class. And our history in this country that's shoved in everybody's face shows a legacy of submissiveness and defeat, not a legacy of power and dominance. We're shown in the media as entertainers and thugs. So anyone that may be attracted to us may expect one of those archetypes. So if we don't have politics, we don't have banks, we don't have community or stable families, what's what the solution? We're going to keep helping men find out where they can find happiness overseas. Get your passports, run to the post office because it's really that bad. Fuck the betrayal. Women like Krishan Rock cannot be stopped. She will not be corrected. She will not face any consequences. This is Gen Z, the worst women in human history. And Gen Alpha will be worse. For the first time, we are seeing women with no maternal instinct. Advanced detachment is their second nature which means that they're not even remotely capable of any spectrum of love. What they have is bouts of emotional bonding that comes and goes like the highs they chase. The mindset of the average Gen Z Jezebel is scientifically the same mindset as a clinical psychopath, which means there is no possibility for inflection and they will live adjacent to reality. And we live in a society that will enable that behavior. If there's no one else to harm, they will begin to harm themselves. And they will flock to an environment of family and friends that will let that behavior go uncorrected. And if Krishan Rock, Yaya Mayweather, Sexy Red, Bad Baby. That's me and lonely fans models or what Gen Z mothers are going to be in the future, then I can only imagine how terrible that their generation of children is going to turn out. And why the hell is Krishan Rock still missing some damn teeth? But I did hear that she came out with some new music and it's kinda lit. When the night has come But anyway, man, that's the video for today. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the damn video. Be sure to click her to see why black men are responsible for Groove Boo's whole flated mind in America. If you're missing my shorts, be sure to hit me up on Instagram at NGE underscore never good enough. And if you want to do some business with me, be sure to hit me up on my email at NGE never good enough at gmail.com. And remember, become the change you want to see. It's your boy, NGE. Peace.